My baby told me don't be cautious. But I don't Do I think a polygamous relationship can have longevity and actually work out? Yeah. I believe that any relationship that is a non-toxic relationship can have longevity and actually work out, provided that the parties involved, all of the parties involved, be it polygamous or monogamous, are, how do I say, they're in proper communication with one another and they recognize what a healthy, successful relationship is. Like, that's not necessarily, I think people think that, sometimes people think that, or get confused and believe that healthy relationships are like, me restricting you from doing certain things or you restricting me from doing certain things, that's some bullshit. Uh, relationships require compromise. If there is something that is bother bothering my partner, then I have to evaluate whether this relationship is worth making that adjustment for the sake of the relationship. Does that make sense? I don't see, I kinda, I, I'm gonna assume that you're asking me about polygamy because the whole question on the table is can more than one print, fuck yeah. I've been in polygamous relationships. I was totally open for that. Like, I wanted to, I always wanted to be a sister wife. My current dude was like, bitch, this is monogamy. I am a Christian. I was like, okay. I mean, they had more than one life in the Bible, but whatever, nigga. Long story short, he told me that shit is out. I personally am selfish as fuck. And the whole reason, it's weird because I'm selfish and sharing. The whole reason I wanted a sister wife is, A, I got somebody to bitch to about you that's within the family circle. B, somebody's gonna help me wash these motherfucking clothes and raise these kids because when I want to disappear for a weekend, I would like to disappear. And hopefully we live in separate houses so our cycles aren't synced. But I can win if I get out my own way. If I go in, I'm going all in. I'm a finesse, I can get it any time of the day. Man, I'm on that profit. Um, I've been in several relationships. Uh, it's not a polygamous relationship if another woman doesn't know about it that's you're just the side bitch at that point i've also been that but i've been in relationships where the women of course we all knew what it was and it was fine it worked out perfect i just after a while decided i wanted to be single it was it was a lot of work being in a polygamous relationship because it's not just you and your partner it's you your partner your other partner and possibly another partner this nigga had four partners it was a lot Communication is key. First of all, we have to recognize that while humans should not necessarily have expectations because it's a surefire way to get um, disappointed, at the end of the day, the reality is we do have certain expectations. So going into any type of relationship, you should be able to communicate your expectations honestly and openly, and that person should honestly and openly be able to say that they either can or cannot. Then you have to recognize that you can't force anybody to do some shit they don't want to do, and that you sitting around waiting for a motherfucker to change is stupid. On both parts. Like, unless that's something you want to do, like you're willing to wait until X amount of time, like, okay, I'll give it six months, and if it doesn't change, then I'm gonna go on about my way. But you can't stop what you've got going on or living your life and growing into your full potential for the sake of being in a fucking relationship that's not even actually going to allow you to grow. Like, that doesn't make sense. That's counterproductive as fuck. Maybe you should spend some time by yourself. For example, I'm in a relationship where I'm, we're about to have a table talk because I feel like every so often you should put everything on the table. This is where I'm at with this. This is what I don't like. This is what I do like. This is what I'm, I understand. I'm willing to deal with that. I will work on this, blah, blah, blah. But if for some reason this conversation goes left and you know there's some shit that that i that i'm adamant about i need that change and he's not willing to budge which isn't going to happen because we're pretty open and honest with our communication anyway but i would literally have to be like okay well i'm gonna fall back because i need to figure out what i really need and want or require you know what i'm saying and then you keep it moving but what i won't do is spend six years waiting on a bitch while i'm fertile <laughs> All these questions, y'all should have joined my classes when they were popping and on sale earlier this year because I answered all this shit. I'm a finesse, I can get it any time of the day. But I'm on that profit. Only power on your butt. We turn up into a ten and we go like a power release. Third eye is a power on the power of the window. Look alive when I find it. Don't be 
So when I am single, I still date, but again, I keep my expectations in check. I know what the fuck I want when I'm dating somebody. First of all, to be completely open and honest with you, nine out of 10 times, if you see me dating a nigga, it's pure and simply because he has a penis that pumps blood. Because I date myself and I have a ball. You see me? I'm sitting here right now playing music, dancing. I just shampooed my carpet. I feel fucking amazing. The only thing I've left to do is wash the dishes and clean that bathroom. Those probably aren't going to happen now that I say them out loud. <laughs> I'll wait till tomorrow. I got plenty of time. But um, yes, I'm still doing the Tuesday's Heart Foundation. Um, but hold on. Stay on topic. Uh, you got to know what you're dating nigga for. Sometimes you just want some company and to have a fun time. You know what I mean? You don't have to date a nigga to try to marry him. Like, first of all, you're not even going to fully know your nigga until y'all been married here. Trust me. know yourself right so i know me when i'm committed to some shit i am absolutely fucking committed anybody that knows me for real for real will tell you when a bitch sets her mind to some shit she is going to do it period point blank meaning if i'm your woman i am your woman i'm gung-ho i'm all the way for you nobody can stop this can't nobody say shit about you i will mow a whole fucking crowd down behind you right I'm not about to just give that to just anybody. So I don't walk into a relationship with something. Here you go. I'm very fucking specific. Listen, sir, if you want to take this ride, it'll be your last. Know that. You go ahead, take some time and evaluate, and we'll revisit this in six months. I'm a topic is it not don't be afraid to be single um 